everyone in Kyoto! So we are now in Kyoto and we have spent the day travelling from Yudinaka, which is where our previous vlog was from. And we have just checked into our Airbnb. It looks exactly like the pictures, which is always good. it does look a little bit bigger. I think it looks bigger. It's more clean than I thought. So you get these little comfy slippers. Yeah, must wear these. And then you get your own, we've got a washing machine there. A nice big sink, there's no one wrong, like there's no one worse than a small sink where it just goes everywhere. A toilet in there, and then like you've got like a wet room, but also like I love how deep the bath is. And then here's, there's quite a lot of space, which is quite nice to be able to lay our suitcases out. There's, that's about it really. Yay, and show the view. Oh. Do you know what I've just realised? What? I don't think we've got any towels. Oh no. You're joking. Are you sure? Yeah, oh my god, I don't think there's any towels. Pray for towels, everyone. Oh my god, this is not... <gasps> is there no towels? I don't think so. How are, uh, we gonna... are there towels in there? No. Hair dryer, though. <gasps> there towels. Are there towels? There's towels. Whew, almost oh. freaked out. Is there more toilet roll, though? Toilet roll. Toilet roll. No. I think we're going to have to buy some more toilet roll though. We've only got one roll and that ain't going to last very long, is it? And we're here for a week, so... Okay, so we figured out where we are. Have we? Yes, we are in Kenny J Temple Grounds. In between Kenny J Temple Grounds and Code J Temple Grounds, and these are kind of like the whole um, the grounds basically of like the main temple and then the surrounding little temples, and then also the, again with the Code J Temples. So that's where we are. We just stumbled across there. Yes, even though we were attempting to come here in the first place, but we literally didn't even know this was going to be. So close. Just entering the geisha area now. And there is no smoking, no, no selfies, eating, no selfies, no, blah, blah, no geisha touching. So this is the, basically the park of where we are. We are here and this is where like, the geishas will be, which is quite exciting. Oh, a wedding, a wedding, a wedding, a wedding, a wedding. Oh, someone's getting married. But they, I think they come out of all of here at a certain time. Um, and there seems to be so many people just dressed up as like geishas. I want to be dressed I up, as, dress a up as a geisha. Oh a geisha. wow, look up here. Ooh. So we are currently walking down a street in the local area. Do you know what the street's called? I think it's like Gion Street. But it's, it's, like, it's one of the main shopping ones that looks like this. It feels busier than Tokyo. I think it's because the lanes are smaller. They so have like these really cute little shops. I love look at all the dolls. And Basically, we're going to be getting a handful of these before we leave. There's so many different ones. They all have these cute, and it's all like cherry blossom themed. Wow. Which is really cute. Oh, so we've just got an ice cream and I have a cherry blossom and green tea. And Ryan's got his in a tub, as per usual, with this beautiful cherry blossom background. <laughs> oh, so this is on the main Gion High Street, isn't it? Mm-hmm. And it's called Gion Tizijiri. Thoughts about yeah, ice cream? Pronunciation's wrong, but it's really nice ice cream. It's really flavoursome. So we are at Yashasha Yashinja Shrine. I think that's what it's called. <laughs> and it is absolutely I mean, gorgeous. Actually, part of, that's the gate, but then this one over here is actually the shrine. So we just got our, Everything in Kyoto just seems a lot bigger, doesn't it? Like, it's more the gardens. We will definitely be templed out soon, I reckon. We just got, got our, our um, stamp, which looks like... Let me open so it. So it's because they stopped doing the books at four o'clock today, so they've got some papers oh, for people, they? yeah. Oh, you should tell me that. We would have came back. Well, I thought you were looking at the sign too. So that is what's going to go in our books. But I like the dragon. Yeah, it's cute. And it is just so busy. So many people around and just all around good vibes, really. I'm, I'm um, loving it. Absolutely loving it. And I bought a kimono. Which we can show you tonight. Which cost me a fortune, which I'm having a bit of a heart attack. And I'm going to get one later so we can be twins. No, you're not, Matthew. Yes, I am. <laughs> Thank you. 
So we just caught some fish on the stick and Matthew's gonna try it for the first time ever. Mm. Nice. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> We have just walked up from the shrine to, to Mariama Park <coughs> and it is gorgeous. Which, I didn't realise this was it because <coughs> it's where one of the places my mum recommended to come on our first night because it's so close to where we're staying. Which basically, this is like a new park that's only been built 300 years and it was built by someone that's done a few famous shrine stuff, with cherry blossoms. And have a look, like look at this. I was like... Oh, picturesque. Look, there's no ripples in the water hardly at all. So basically we're going to a really famous little street which we'll show you in a minute. Um, hopefully it's like traditional alleyways in Japan where like geishas will come out and walk to help hold like shows and stuff like that. That's what we think but we've not really seen too much and all the like tourists seem to be on a different street like the geisha street so we don't really know if we're should be going to this or not really. We don't but know what to expect. We're just having what we do best in exploration and look around and it's absolutely incredible. It seems a lot more, to me it seems a lot more touristy than what uh, Tokyo did. But I think Tokyo yeah. was more spread out. This place seems more yeah. like condensed and the I streets are narrower the, and the main bit. The geisha bit, yeah that's probably why. So we are currently getting our photos done, which is Ryan's wanted to shoot on many holidays and we've finally given in in Kyoto in Japan. So we're basically getting our faces drawn, so we're going to go with this background with the geishas because we thought it'd be really, really cute with the little geisha. And I don't want to look ugly, but it's cartoon style, so it isn't going to be most flattering. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> oh my god, I love it! Oh, that's so cool. Thank that's you. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah, of course. This is the finished result. I love. <laughs> Absolutely. Look at those puckers. Look at those lips. Clearly, I've had fillers. <laughs> it's so nice. What are those? Eye bags. We've sometimes. always wanted one of these, and this is perfect. I've always wanted to do this, and I love the fact that it's got a geisha and stuff like that. It's so cool. I like your little um, moustache, your little stubble coming through. Looks perfect. Love it. Big ears. Big She's so good. sweet. She's been doing it yeah. and she works ten to. 10 they till work, 9, 10 like, in the morning till 9 They work night. ridiculous hours. We're so lucky in the UK. Because she got my bags, didn't she? They are what she is, oh, right? Nice <laughs> well. But yeah, we're now going to quickly explore the street because it is actually really late and we still need to get some food. But it was definitely... That was worth it. That was so good. So she, it would so, be something we'll keep forever. Yeah. So, happy day. <laughs> Ryan again, Ryan likes big. his treats. Ryan likes his treats. <laughs> it's so yummy. It's so yummy. Japanese cake. We've had such a fun evening because we saw geishas. We really were. I was a tiny bit worried that we wouldn't see any. Were you? No. I ran after them and left Matthew. Yeah, we lost each other for about 10 minutes. But some people are just so disrespectful. Like, people like fill on. Put the flash on. But you basically obviously want to get a photo of the geishas and you have to kind of see, and you have to see them, but you just would do it, so you have to do it slyly, don't you? Like, you don't just go, ching, 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 ching. It's not like, I just thought it was a bit, because they, they don't, I can tell, you can just tell they don't really like it. But some people were full on, like, just running and taking flash photography, it just wasn't very. Right. um your rope, your geisha. Oh my god, yeah, and I, oh, al well, I, have to get I also got the most amazing 
robe ever, one sec. So this is mine, and I must admit, I do think it's nicer than Ryan's. It's got geishas on, and it's- And it comes in a cos cosplay. <laughs> comes in a blue costume bag, but it's really nice, it's silk, and it's knee length. I would have got the long one, but it was like a thousand yen more, and it wasn't really worth it. And now let me show you mine. Ling, 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 ling. And this ling, is ling, 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 ling. I think mine's nicer. Who's, who's do you think looks nicer? Pocket. Oh, mine doesn't have a mobile phone pocket. Oh, that's so handy. Good for you. That's why yours, actually, they were the, kind of the same price. But they look so nice. Imagine us at home with Roscoe here drinking a hot chalk. Green tea. I like it. Do you like it? I do. It'd be nice just to wear around the house. Good, Good morning, morning everybody. everybody. It is day two in Kyoto <coughs> and it's change of plan. Definitely change of plan. It's meant to rain later today, so we were going to go to Nara, which is where the deer are and they bow at you and you can feed them. Yeah. But apparently it's going to rain today according to the weather, so we are now on our way to Himaji Castle. Which I believe is more inside because it's a castle, but I'm not 100% sure. But we did buy umbrellas yesterday, so it doesn't really matter what happens. But we'd rather see the deer, wouldn't we, when it's not raining? Yes. Yeah. But obviously what well, it's meant to be will be um, but we're trying to just work out the best way to avoid the wet rain so that's where we're going go to, I have no expectations of Himaji Castle because Matthew's mum didn't go so there isn't anything to like compare it with Apart from the pictures that beautiful. Thing, it does look really, really nice. Um, so yeah, we're gonna head there. We're trying to get the earliest train there. We're gonna um, grab some food from 7-Eleven, our favourite. Our usual. And then off we go on the train, basically. So let's go. So this is where we're off to. We're off to the Himogene Castle, which you can just see in the distance. Let me zoom in. Can you see zoom, it? Zoom, 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 right zoom, zoom. Right in that zoom. far corner, so just now, there. So we're gonna have a look around Himaji. There's lots of t-shirts and things, lots of nice things we can buy. No, spend Matthew, more Matthew just, money. just spend, spend, spend. Go straight to the castle before it rains, because luckily it's not raining yet. So I feel like we should go there first. Get our photos. And then it can rain. If I it's so white on camera. I faked tanned last night. Slept on my hand by accident. And now Which... my hand is brown. Oh my god, that's actually oh god, so that bad. That actually looks really bad. You can't even tell on camera. That's actually so bad. That's why I slept on my hand. It was a spray as well, so I didn't even touch the tan. <laughs> that's awful. <laughs> You've got to take your shoes off, which is quite, quite cool. Luckily, I don't have any holes in my socks today. That would have been so embarrassing. They've regulating the queues today because it's so busy, so we can't. It's like proper like a ninja style, like like when you like you imagine it, it's like ninja when they all bow. And Ryan said it reminds him of a Pokemon tower. It does. Which makes me excited to play the games. <laughs> So we are currently at the Mikimiji Gardens and it is gorgeous. It's so pretty, even though it's raining, it is really, really pretty. So we're like Sen. And luckily a lot of it's undercover if you look that way. Yes. And we've just basically put our names down to hopefully get like a mill and a proper Japanese mill. And it's yeah. got to look out the window since so she said 30 minutes. So hopefully, fingers crossed, 30 minutes time. We have food. Yay. Instant thoughts of the gardens. Go. Zen. Zen, 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 zen. The fish here are so cool. They're just. So big. I'm they're the gold one. Yeah, we saw a gold one. They're just <coughs> huge. This is the Garden of Lord's Residency. Gardens of the Lord's Residency. And everyone's basically walking across this bridge to go over there, but it's got no handrails. So let's watch this big palaver over here, try and get over it without slipping. With his boohoo man shoes. I decided to enjoy the few prefer traditional Japanese lunch. So we have some noodles like rau mein, oh, and so then we have gorgeous. some uh, deep fried. I believe it's like fish with vegetables. Veg, yeah. And then I'm not sure what this is. And then you've got some miso soup. 
It smells incredible. Yum, 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 yum. With the gorgeous, gorgeous view. So we've just got off the train on the way back from Himaji and we're just at a random place that we just got off the no, train. what's this place called? Uh, There's a, it's an actual temple. So we're at Tofukuji Temple and we've just got here and it's just closed, we can't get our sab signed. I don't think so, but it's completely empty so we can actually take a look at this fact but people in the way. So you've got this and then you've got like, we'll have to explore this area as well. But like, look how like far it goes back. I feel like we might have to come here again. I'm gonna have to look up the map. It's really pretty. It's and then really nice, you've got all it? of these. I love those trees so much. And you've got this bit as well, which is just mad. So yeah, we're gonna have to have a quick little wonder because Matthew wants to go somewhere. It's a surprise. Babe, where are we? Okay. So this is the Creative Open Centre and I think it only opened two weeks ago maybe? We've got more stuff. So we're getting these limited editions. So this is a Kyoto exclusive Pikachu. We've also got a cute Geisha this Pikachu. Is my favourite. Really, really cute. And then we've got myself, I really wanted a key ring so I'm happy I got this one. And a green tea and then these I don't want anymore. So I'm going to put them up here. And then Pokemon card. Yeah, lots and lots of Pokemon cards, but this place is insane. There's that, what's that Pokemon called? Lucaria. I think that's, is that silver version? Yes. I think I, no, I had gold version, and I had gold, so I used to play that one on the Game Boy. Amazing. Do you want to look at anything else? No, we've spent enough money. We've spent a lot of money on Pokemon, but it is our anime in a way we'll burn off. But they've got so many exclusives in this store. <gasps> our spoons, that's cute. Do you want that for your own keepsake? Baby spoons. But this is my favorite. I love all the cuddly toys and if I had enough money, I would get all of these, seriously. The original 150 though. Where are we off to, Matthew? We are off to Nijo Castle. Why? Because it's apparently really beautiful and there's cherry blossoms and it gets lit up at night and I'm <coughs> so excited. But it's. 39 minutes away, it's stressing me out. We keep coming across like really beautiful areas and we're trying to like put them into our schedule and it is a little bit stressful. It's just so much gym day. <coughs> like, so, and so we've got nice. so many day trips. But basically we've got all this to do still. Ah, everyone's running at me. So we are back home and we have done 30,173 steps today. I feel like our shirt's basically twinnies. We haven't spoke since the light show. Let us just talk to you oh, about it was so, that. so, so, so good. Like, I didn't expect it to be that good. I thought we were just going to be looking at trees, but there were like loads of lights. You we guys... had to walk like 50 minutes, didn't we? Yeah, 50 minutes from where we're staying. But it was worth it. 100%. And then we walked 50 minutes back and we found lots of cool stuff on the way that we're going to go and explore in later vlogs. Loads of those shops, which we did show you a little bit, but we were rushing to get there. Whilst we got there, we got called, there's, we went, there's a few little stalls, and one person who they sell sake, he was like, oh, you two are so handsome. Are you models? And we were like, no, laughing. Like, no. And they're like, tea fair? We were like, no, no, not yet. And then Matthew's like, YouTube. And I was like, oh, you sold me and we ended up buying two sake, bottles of sake. sake. So one was plum and one was lemon, is it? No, one was sakura, um, one was cherry blossom. One was cherry blossom uh -huh. and one was lemon. Oh. But we definitely we... brought a plum one. Huh? We definitely brought a plum one. No, that... Oh, no. Yeah, because you said the brown one, the plum. Definitely plum. Yeah, but the other one's not lemon, the other one's... Oh, okay. The other one sucks. So we've got plum and cherry blossom. Cher yeah. Oh, the lemon. We didn't get the lemon, but we've got the... But we 
Last when we were in Yudanaka, still my favourite place by the way, we tried sacking, we really did not like oh, it. It was so it was like, like worse than vodka. It was like oh. basically vodka, but these have flavours, which is maybe why we like it. So we are gonna go up for dinner at some point and we'll try it again and hopefully I like it. And then I'm gonna buy um some little sake glasses and then I can have that at home with my kimono and then I we had a bit to Wendy's for dinner, which is nothing special, but I had a green ma mocha no, a green matchy um, tea. tea, and it was like creamy, it was so nice, and then basically all you have to do is get some powder, and you stir it, so I'm going to get a set as well, so I can take home. I've got lemonade. I just have to show you one thing quick. So, I'm going to be the hostess with the mostest, and Matthew wants to show you this Pokemon. We bought Pokemon cards, but we're not, I think I'm going to save my Tom home. Yawn, I'm just opening mine. But I am, um, basically we went to the Pokemon store, which of course you saw, and I just have to show you. Slowly. We got the limited edition Kyoto Pikachu to add to our collection. Which so is now we've got cute. a Cherry Blossom one, a Green Tea one, this one, and I'm then. Sure. This, is, this one's literally my favourite. Oh, she stands up as well, which is really cute. I just think that's the cutest. They're cutest. In total, we've spent a hell of a lot. Oh, most of our money has been on Pokemon stuff. But I think that's okay. Yeah, I suppose. But and yeah. we've also got some green tea. Yay! But it's not. Is that no? I still need to get. That's normal green tea. I still need to get matchy. Is it matchy? Matchy. I think it's matchy. So anyway, we're going to sleep because uh, we've got to get up super early. So make sure you hit the thumbs up button. Hit the notification bell when our next Japan vlog comes out in a few days. And subscribe if you're not subscribed. And welcome to the family, y'all. And see you in the next video where we go on another day trip. Bye. Mm -hmm. Mwah.